uh, <clears throat> this is a, a, a regular meeting of the Rules Committee of the Representative Town Meeting. I'll call a meeting to order. Uh, first item is to approve the uh, minutes for February 14. Can I have a motion to do that? So moved. And a second. Thank you, uh, Lois. Uh, your mic on. Okay, guys, I'm pinch hitting for Mark. Who moved that? Uh, I did, Patty. I'm Michael. Okay, Michael, uh, thank you. And who seconded it? I, I did. Lois. Lois. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Um, okay, uh, I have uh, one correction. Just to, it was uh, uh, on the backstop uh, in the minutes. Uh, Park and Rec was. Uh, first primary, and then uh, and then F and B. Uh, and there's another one, Lois. There was another one. Yes, that um, in the beginning, Jeff Krauss is designed to um, public works, not to public health and safety. And it's correct on the internet, so it's just a correction of the minutes. Okay. Um, any others? Okay, uh, ready to vote. Um, any no votes on approving the minutes? I don't know what I do with Adele and Jenny because I can't see them. <laughs> I'm there now. Adele's here. Ah, there she is. Yeah, there we go. All right. I don't see any no votes. Abstentions? I don't see any abstentions. Motion passes unanimously. Next item, uh, just quickly, um, we're still searching for somebody for the Blight Review Board. I did call the district chairs and ask them to reach out here in the last week to see if we could find uh, some candidates. Uh, there's, we haven't found any yet. Uh, I'm gonna get on the phone this week personally and call and see if we can't uh, bring somebody forward who, who, who could and would do the job. Um, Rules committee. Seth, can I ask a question? I'm sorry, um, what? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. It's Patty. Um, is there a possibility that they could move those times, the times they have those blight meetings? I mean, they're as Mike had said, they were they're in the middle of the day. I'm sure there's several people who would like to do it. It's just well, that, they're at five, right? But they're in they're person. At five, they're at they're five o'clock in, in the middle of the week on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. in person. And that's really why I, I just couldn't commit. I couldn't be around on Wednesdays every every month. Um, and they definitely you know wanted them to be in person for good reason because occasionally we have um, you know a homeowner come to a hearing and want to be present. So um, and they don't necessarily have you know, ability to zoom in, et cetera. So the chair made that decision, you know, six, eight months ago. Michael, I, I have could, a question on that. Go time. ahead, Jack. Um, I tend to believe that the reason might be that it's at five o'clock is because we have town employees um, at that meeting. Is, is that correct? We do. We have Allie and, and we have um, Bob, um, Rob. Oh, okay. Salido. So those are the only the ones. Yes. Yeah, I think they've okay. always been, they've always been at that time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought maybe it was just the we employees remote for years. Um, around, but I agree. Maybe it can be moved. Well, <clears throat> let me uh, let me see if we get a response from somebody who says yes. If but I, I need to have a little different time than I've got something to talk about. But we'll get on the phone this week. It's tough with, um, at, with human services there and the assistant fire marshal really runs the meeting. And, you know, he's getting paid yeah. by the hour. I got you. Okay. So that's the, the story so far. Um, report from the Rules Technology Committee, Lois. Uh, sure. Just quickly, the request for upgrades to the town auditorium and the um, and the addendum to do the um, projector was accepted by the selectmen and and issued 
requested by the selectmen as part of the ARPA funding. Um, so, so that's to be, you know, it's in the approval process, the RTM does get to look at that. And the other question that I've been asked a couple of times, so I thought I'd just bring it up here, is that do we still need to do this upgrade if we go back in person with, you know, in May or June, whenever we do it, um, is that necessary? And, my, and the answer to that is yes, because one, we never know when this is gonna happen again, but second, more importantly, it allows us to do, um, bring in speakers and have them be talk to us remotely while we're in the meeting, or if we ever choose to do a public hearing, that people can be in the auditorium and present, or they can do it through, through um, Zoom or, or go to meeting as the Board of Ed does. So that's why we believe that the um, request is valid, even if we go back in person. I have a question, Seth. Okay. Um, I think it's a great idea. So will RTM members be able to use that remote option and still be considered present and have the ability to vote? Depends on how the, I can, says it okay if I answer it. That depends on what the, the yeah. legislator and the governor decide. We are authorized through the end, through April, the end of April. And beyond that, we don't know. We're still waiting. I, I really haven't pushed anything at all on this, waiting for the general, the the uh, state government, uh, the the governor, FOIA, the state FOIA committee, somebody to say something about where we go next, because the rest would be moot. You know, we we get all revved up and start heading in one direction, and uh, the state could step in and just say, "No, I don't think so." So. We'll wait till we hear from them. Maybe we'll get something more definitive before the 22nd, but at any rate, we'll wait till then and then and then go from there. And Teresa, we okay. also have been watching it to say, you know, it's one thing for an RTM meeting, but what about committee meetings? And is there any difference in committee meetings? And that's to be determined. I, I do want to say. Muted. I sent you both that question because. Um, education is going to be meeting in person, and one of our members asked if we can have the optional Zoom and put a laptop there. Um, right now, it's good. Uh, she, she just can't vote. Oh, oh wait, what? She can't? Oh, yeah, she can't. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Teresa, yeah, she, she has to identify herself. Right. She has to identify, yeah, she has to identify. I want to make sure that it's clear to people that who's voting and how they're voting if they can't. We oh, can't. okay. So, but but we know who she is, and we she identifies herself. She can't. Her votes will count. I mean, I don't think we're vote, we're not voting on anything next week. But okay. Yes. All right. Good to know. Okay. Well, but she should also be recorded. Well, the, whole, well, the, the meeting, meeting will probably well, the meeting, be recorded. Channel seventy nine to bring so the meeting. The laptop. Oh, okay. There. We got that covered anyway. All right. Yeah. And and Jim's setting a microphone on the table to be able to pick up her audio. Okay. Jack, are you, did you want to say something? He's vanished. Okay. He lost his camera and his voice. What time was his FMB meeting? Eight. Not yet, eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so is that, Lois, that? That's it, thank you. Okay. Um, next is uh, discussion and assigned committees. Uh, the American uh, Rescue Plan Act of 2021. Uh, uh, there's money uh, appropriated uh, to be spent. Uh, and so um, it, it, the exact amount is, uh, so far anyway from the Board of Finance is $6,430,414.32. And uh, that's really the main item of business. And we had to get it done now, unfortunately. Uh, we might not have you know, had to have an RTM meeting, but at any rate, Jack, um, did you have something you want to report out on this? Um, well, we don't actually have to have it done now because we could always just do whatever we um, in April, but then that would mean that we would have to do a lot of amendments to our um, budget because the Board of Finance, um, there's about $573,000 of capital in there for the appropriate um, fiscal 23 budget. 
but it would mean that they would have to vote that as if it still existed and then we'd have to amend it down the road. So this just makes it a lot easier. Anyway, um, I've, I've been working with uh, Jim Palin, um, Kate, Jen, um, Wayne um, as of late, um, and we've um, had the good fortune of having um, Martha Banks was the RTM um, representative. So when there's questions, calling Martha is always um, a wonderful conversation. Um, so I've distributed um, to the members of rules, the listing of the various projects. The projects um, are broken down between health, um, COVID related um, infrastructure for water, but there's really a catch-all that um, the federal government in um, um, earlier in January or February um, stated that small towns um, don't have to have the same um, details that um, lodges do, providing that they're not receiving more than $10 million. Since we're not receiving more than $10 million, several capital projects that might not have otherwise qualified now qualified under the lost revenue initiative. That's what they said. So um, that's what we have there. Um, I've distributed a proposed list of projects to Rolf, to Adele, to uh, Mac and to f and um, on who's being assigned. The process will be similar to how we do capital. Um, f and will introduce, go through the background, explain what the requirements are, aren't, how the project worked, blah, 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 um, report on R2, and then similar to um, how we do capital at budget, those other three committees would then report on the projects associated. So what I'm recommending is rather than going and listing them all, um, if we might attach that schedule um, to the minutes, um, and they were color coded, I believe, um, and just approve the committees as they've been indicated. Um, that would be great. And then we could move on. Um, the, um, I, I think everybody's been basically working on it. I, I think Ralph mentioned he's meeting in the next couple of days. Um, we're meeting tonight. Um, the board of finance will be having their discussion on March 15th. And I'm sorry, on the schedule that I gave on the budget, I mistakenly said that their um, public hearing was on March 15th. That's their backup date. The real public hearing is tomorrow. Should anybody so choose to go and make them happy that they show up? Otherwise, they may be alone. Um, but, um, you know, the key here is that um, on the 15th, the Board of Finance will be addressing all these. They may be, there's a resolution out there. There's a couple of potential changes. Um, we won't know whether or not those changes are agreed to by the Board of Finance until the 15th. Um, MAC and um, F&B are having a special meeting on the 16th to discuss projects and everything else like that, and then vote on it. And we'll make changes to the resolution based upon what comes out of the Board of Finance. The Board of Finance has a desire to look at certain projects for release of funds. They mentioned that in their last meeting, but they have to be very specific because it can't be for everyone. And there's no reason for it. And some will just go to the Board of Selectmen similar to the grants but some of them are pretty far along. So as soon as we approve it or the Board of Finance approves it, nobody should have to go back for funds on um, projects that we already have. You know, we have the, um, you know, um, signage. We know what that is. Just no reason to go and get overburdening everybody with this. So, and there are times that this may come back to the RTM but it's only if there's extra funds or based upon the projects we have in the infrastructure, let's say that instead of salt box, 
there's a decision by the board of selectmen to swap out salt box and do Gorham Pond. So if that particular case, it would have to go to the board of selectmen, board of finance and back to us. But I'll explain all that. It's, it's pretty straightforward, so. Jack. They are passing the resolution around everybody concerned so that we try and get everybody's input. I know town council's working on the resolution. There's drafts of it going about. Yeah, but that's going to change. So, I, and I don't want to send out the drafts until I know no, I, that the I draft actually you. changed. Right. I saw a hand. It, it was mine. Do um. Lois. Yeah, Jack. Are we doing the whole the whole six point four million? Or are we doing the part that we relates to the budget? We're doing the whole enchilada. Okay. So it's it's a resolution to approve the appropriation of six million four hundred thirty thousand four hundred fourteen dollars and thirty two cents. Right, and there may be a reference to Schedule One exactly projects, um, which it's similar to appropriating what we do in in capital. Um, and, and the other thing there's that enough, I wanted uh, to... there's enough there's uh, enough uh, room in the resolution to be able to the schedule we can do that later as we get it right for no problem so um we're going to uh move this to the agenda and then uh it's f and b primary and the rest <laughs> or do we want to be specific beyond f and b b and primary yes because there's um you have public works right um public health and safety and parking yep. rec Okay. So it's it's not a lot. F and B primary, park and rec, PHNS, and public works secondary. Yeah. Uh, can I have a motion on that, please? So moved. Uh, I saw Pat. You want a second, Patty? Patty, your mic's off again. <laughs> yes, I second it. Oh, okay. Who who was the uh, mover? Mike. Mike. It was me again. Michael. Michael. Okay. Michael. Michael. Thank you, Patty. Uh, that's great. Um, further comment? Yeah, just one thing here. Uh, if F and B is primary, does that mean they're going to give a speech on each one of these individual things? No, that's <laughs> up to you guys. <laughs> Good question. No. Jack. Okay. <laughs> Who goes first? But then first? if you want, I can take back the sheets that we passed around and you can <laughs> listen to all those meetings on your own. <laughs> well, thank you for all your hard work, Jack. I, we know you've worked really hard. I have a question. Um, who goes first? Do the, you know, sometimes, um, Jack, you have the chairs go first and then you go second. But uh, I guess that's my point, Patty. Yeah. No, in this because. Or is it a reverse? The, no. I'm moving the resolution. Right. And then I'm also explaining all the little nuances associated. There's like um, two or three projects that are F and Bs. I mean, simple ones. So like the initiative that Lois was discussing is no longer an RTM initiative. It is now there were ads to it and it is now owned by the selectman's office. So it is their initiative, not doing the auditorium for the RTM. They're taking it over for the town. There's something else there and then contingency. So that's all I'm doing. I'm going through what, how it was established, what it is, what's the nuances, when it comes back, when it doesn't come back, um, and then it's okay, Jack. We have, I was really just teasing you, but go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just wanted to know the order. Yeah, thank you. Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm doing the minutes, so I it's just wanted the to trouble. Know. <laughs> yeah, yes. so, I mean, basically, Ralph has the most money. Um, which called public health and safety has the most projects, and Park and Rec has the Numbers that we know will eventually change. <laughs> oh, really? Well, then it would be nice if you let me know about that. Well, you know that it's going to change because we have $500,000 for Cherry Lawn Park. If um, everybody's ready to right vote. Away, so Whoa, Jack, change. fighting words. 
If, not for the if, pond. If That's everybody's, uh, we can have Park and Rec and F&B take this offline. <laughs> if everybody's ready to vote. Um, no, great what idea. Saying changes, we don't know whether or not when estimates come in, whether or not it's going to be higher or lower. So this is true. It, it's a big number. And right now it's, it's a placeholder until we get more refined. But some of the stuff that's over there for Park and Rec, especially on um, what was approved um, and some of the other stuff that's there, the 11,000 for the swing and other things like that. I mean, that's just going through. So that's an appropriation, yeah. That's it, but okay, so we have a resolution. I'm just taking the minutes, Seth. We have a resolution on the table. Yes, yeah, so the resolution is approved. Right. Uh, it's it is we'll have a formal resolution they're still writing it but uh as far as a as a title to go on the warning approve the appropriation of six million four hundred thirty thousand four fourteen point three two i'll send you this um uh, of funds from the american rescue plan act of 2021 as approved by the board of finance and then we'll we'll have a schedule and all of this, as jack described We'll look forward to scheduling all of that. So do we need to make a motion? We made a motion for that, but then now do we need yeah, to? Yeah, uh, right. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I can I'm make checking. it one and, and do the assigning the committees. We'll make, it, we'll make it one motion for the first one, if you will. Can I have a motion in favor of that? Oh, uh, wait, back, I'm sorry. We made, we made the motion where Michael was the primary, Michael moved the motion and I was secondary. Right. That okay. was for the um, assigning Science. committees, but did we need to okay, make a motion? Okay, well then let's, uh, let's, no, we never voted on that. Let's go ahead, it's on the table. Okay. Uh, are we ready to vote on the assignments? Yes. Okay, uh, no votes please. I see none, abstentions. I see none, motion passes unanimously. Uh, next would be uh, to add to the um, agenda the, of the RTM, approve the appropriation of $6,430,414.32 of funds from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 as approved by the Board of Finance. Um, can I have a motion in favor of that, please? Did, didn't we do that? Frank. Uh, just for the agenda. Frank, okay, to put it on the agenda officially. Yes, okay. to put it on the agenda. And I saw an Adele hand, so I'll say Adele seconded. Okay, are we ready to vote? Good. Uh, no votes, please. I don't see any. Abstentions? I don't see any. Motion passes unanimously. I bid you all adieu, Jenny. I'll see you in the, um, on the flip side. <laughs> uh, next, uh, Good night, Jack. Next item is uh, just an update. The standing committee descriptions on the town code uh, are in process, but they'll not be ready for a while because of a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Um, uh, we need to approve TS, TGS and A to have a public hearing on the Muni Code degenderification, which has been upgraded at this, and I'll let uh, Frank Kemp uh, report out on, on that. Uh, thank you, Seth, and uh, good evening. Uh, if you all are getting tired of hearing this topic, welcome to the uh, crowd. <laughs> my, my goal is to make sure that we all know so much about this, when it comes around again, we'll say, oh, fine, let's, let's get on with it. Um, last time uh, meeting, we approved uh, going forward with the public hearing, and then uh, we put the requirement in that I, I do some more work and get the word chairman out of um, out of the text and, and replace it with the word chair. That took a little while and it, it, may, it necessitated another 50 changes to the text. But we're ready now uh, to do it again. And um, uh, Patty, did you get a resolution um, uh, that I sent you by email a very short. Yes. Okay, fine. Hold on to that then. Um, briefly, a memo was sent out last night 
so that uh, we approve going forward to uh, public hearing. Um, Krista and I will meet tomorrow to um, set up the, the details of having an in-person public hearing, a virtual public hearing, and opening up an email account uh, where people can uh, send in their comments so that we uh, leave no stone unturned <laughs> in getting people's uh, uh, opinions in on this. So that public hearing should be scheduled uh, during the week of March 28th. And since after the public hearing, you need to wait 60 days for the vote to come up the, for the RTM, that knocks out April and May. So it's possible that we will be back in front of rules on May 23rd in order to schedule it for our June 6th meeting. And that's the schedule we, we would like to follow. If for some reason we run aground and uh, have problems in meeting our deadlines or whatever, if we don't have the uh, topic before us on June 6th, it'll fall back to September 26th, uh, the next RTM meeting after that, and then we can take care of it. Um, I sent uh, Patty a copy of the following uh, resolution, which I would like to uh, move. Uh, resolved that consistent with sections 51 and 98 of the town charter, town's representative town meeting, town government structure and administration committee is authorized to conduct a public hearing to receive comments on the matter of removing reference to gender in the town's charter and code of ordinance. Is there a second? Um, no, yes. Uh, I just back to Seth for discussion and maybe we can vote this out. Yes, uh, good um, questions. And there's just one thing I would add that there, there is an addition uh, uh, that, that wasn't present in the first definition of what was to be done. And that is the, uh, the, the uh, changing of the word chairman to chair throughout the whole document. Uh, <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> but it's so, done. Uh, it's uh, done. Uh, it's, it's, it's in the document right now. It's in the document, but it wasn't in the original. So anyway, uh, yeah. questions? I see none. Are we ready to vote? Okay, no votes, please. I see none. Abstentions? I see none. The resolution is unanimously adopted. Very good. Thank you all. At least we don't have to talk about this until May 23rd. <laughs> Thank so, you, Frank. The next item is just setting the agenda, which is very simple uh, for the for the RTM meeting um, on March 21. Uh, call to order, acceptance of the agenda, approval of the minutes of February 28. Uh, the uh, uh, I'm going to announce the need for an RTM representative for the Blight Review Board, if I don't find one before then, and uh, approve the appropriation of six million. For $430,414.32 of funds from the American uh, Rescue Plan Act of 2021. Uh, can I have a uh, motion, please, to accept that, uh, to, uh, to set that agenda? Thank you, Joe. Second, thank you, Teresa. Ready to vote, any questions? All right, uh, no votes, please. I don't see any. Um, abstentions? I don't see any. Motion pass passes unanimously. Um, and I'll, uh, okay, well, any other business, new business? Great. Seth, it's Krista. Um, intentions to stay remote for March? or in person? Oh, uh, we talked a little bit about that earlier. I'm really not moving that along as much as I would love to do it uh, until we get uh, clarification from either the governor or the state legislature as to 
um, whether the current rules that are in place are going to be extended or not, and and if there are going to be any new rules. Uh, and uh, then based on that, then we can move forward to if if I had my druthers, I'd do it you know today, but uh, it could be a complete waste of time. Uh, thank you. Any uh, other new business or thoughts? Okay, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> uh, I got yes, Patty. I saw Lois second. <coughs> Votes. Any abstentions? Motion passes. Have a great evening, everybody. Pass this meeting. Uh, UConn women are uh, two minutes into the game. <laughs>